Do you want to support this channel? Check out our Teespring. Links are in the description down below. We have multiple Teesprings now. Hey guys, it's me, Van again, and we're playing some more Jono's Bizarre Jono's Strange Journey. Bento Oreo by Nugget Nagi Dev. And, uh, this time, we developed a stronger relationship with, uh, with Mista. But now, I'm walking back into the living room, and I guess they're having an actual party. When they're supposed to be protecting Trish. Whatever. <laughs> Seems like the others have arrived alongside with Bucciarati. What is the meaning of this? Surprise! Congratulations, Bucciarati, for becoming a high-ranking officer. <laughs> So we prepared and threw a surprise party to celebrate. Well, I can't use A in my hip-hop song, so we'll just have to use this lame song for the party's music. Hey, take that back. Arithmet Arithmics is awesome, man. Just because the music doesn't suit your taste doesn't mean it's crap. We can't use louder music such as hip-hop, Naranza. We're supposed to not stay down and draw attention from other members of the gang. Like, okay, I'm getting sick of this music already. Like you said, we shouldn't stand out. Why are you throwing a party for me? Our mission is to protect Trish. This will draw attention. Don't worry too much about it, Bucciarati. You deserve a reward like that. You earned it well. This isn't like you, Abakio. You normally take missions seriously, especially if it's an important mission given by the boss himself. Perhaps. But I hate to see you overwork yourself. You need to take pleasure in leisure time, bro. Also, it's been a while since I tasted beer. Take this opportunity to relax. Oh, you're just after alcohol. Yes, he's after that nice alcoholic taste of the Corona. <laughs> I, I I shouldn't joke about that. I don't know how bad it's going to be in, um, in the next couple of months while this video is coming out later. I could get in trouble for it. But right now, it's still in the early stages for me. I have no idea how the coronavirus actually develops later on. Because it's March. Anyways. Alright, I suppose we could have one night off. Everyone deserves to have a good time once in a while. Though, rest assured, if anyone cause one problem, <laughs> the party is over. Hey, Trish, right? You should get down and join us. Oh, uh, okay, I suppose. Don't worry, no one's gonna guess on my watch. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure parties get very heated. And your radar is useless. A couple of minutes pass, and everyone is taking a piece from food on the table. You know, with how everyone dresses, including me, the music, the lighting, and everything, I feel like I'm in a club with a band of strippers. A gay bar club, to be precise. Never been in one. Sounds like you've gone to one more often. Jornos Winter insists. <laughs> Shit. You're right. <laughs> to clarify, I've never been in a gay bar. Not ever. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you are passively watching over everyone take their share of food. Bucciarati is modestly taking a small piece from the chicken. A slice of pizza. Giorno takes his fair share of chicken piece and pours his glass of wine. Mr. takes a few pieces of chicken and slices of pizza with his own bottle of beer. Naranza takes some fruit from the fruit bowl, a glass of orange juice, and a slice of pizza. Fugo takes a small amount of every food item on the table, but drinks orange juice just like Naranja. Bakio just took a slice of pizza and the rest are beer bottles. Trish is too mossy, anything on the table. You wonder what manner of eating would you show the partake in a classy uh, social event. Don't care and go nuts, offer Trish some food. You don't eat anything. Let's offer Trish some food. Okay. You take a small portion of whatever you find on the table and put it on a plate and offer Trish to eat. Oh, uh, thank you. No thanks. I feel full, er, glasses girl. Relax, don't be shy. In Bucciarati households, you are free from judgment. On my watch, that is. Really? 
but I must decline. You force Chish to accept the food you're offering. You go back to the table and get, on your, get your own share of food. You think Trish appreciates her gesture, but she doesn't. She's going to murder you. Everyone seems to have enjoyed themselves. Now, it won't be a party without the party games. Everyone, let's make this celebration a bit more lively. How about a game of charades? Naraja volunteers to do the charades first. The game went pretty okay, but nobody got the right answer. And Naraja got bored of it quickly. Yeah, that was lame. Anything else? How about Uno? Good idea as always, Fugo. <laughs> I, all I can think of is that one meme. Where it's just like, you don't have to buy Xbox Live to play Uno. Or whatever it was. You don't need to buy. <laughs> Uno comes with your Xbox or something. It was starting to get interesting. Until Mista becomes paranoid because his cards are getting stacked by everyone. And everyone and else uses a 4 plus card against him. <laughs> the game, however, ends without a winner because Mista has to stop it before some kind of misfortune happens. Look, the game ended lame. It was getting interesting, too. I wanted to see what would happen if we gave him another plus 4. <laughs> How about we do tr Truth in here? I think it's all a little too risque with you in the same room with these other clowns. Hell, you talking about me, Baku, huh? You talk great for a guy with alcohol problems. I'll smash your face, mister. Wait, no, no, not truth or dear. I got a much more better idea. Firstly, I need some popsicle sticks similar to such that I can write on with an empty cup. I learned this way back in Japan. A neat little party game that everyone is welcome to participate. Okay? <laughs> With your pen, you scribble to the top of each popsicle sticks with numbers 1 through 7. With the last popsicle just colored perfect fully at the top. With all popsicle represents each person in the room. Let's play a game. The King Game. Okay, here are the rules. This is basically just a glorified truth or dare. And when someone got the stick with the black tip, he will become this game's king. And the king can call out all the numbers and choose to order anything from them. The paisanos, who get their numbers called, must obey the king in, where, in whatever the king orders them to do. Oh, I like this better than regular truth or dare. <laughs> I feel sorry for the staff who get called by me when I'm the king. Anyone up for this? Now everyone draw a stick from the cup. You're about to draw something from the cup. You drew four. <laughs> Fuck. I'm dead. Seems like Vajrati himself got the king first. Er, how do I order someone? What does the king do? Pick a number one through seven and order them to make it worthwhile. I suppose. Number one, bring me some sandwich! Really, you're just ordering to make you a sandwich? Are you defying the king? The rest <laughs> Wait, that's not what I meant. Orders are orders. I am number one, therefore I'll make Vajrati a sandwich. <laughs> Hugo went to the kitchen and started making Vajrati a sandwich. So... This is what it's like to be the king. That was boring. Oh, I get king next to spice things up. Everyone puts their sticks back in the empty cup and draws again. This time you got seven. All right, who got the king? Trish slowly raises her hand. I guess I'm king, huh? Who should I order? Number seven? Yes. Bring me some sandwich. Damn it! <laughs> Why don't you just tell the people to make sandwiches? This is boring! <laughs> you go to the kitchen to make Trish a sandwich. God, I hope Fugo's there. Because if, if she makes a sandwich for Trish, it's going to be the worst. Well, Fugo ended up making sandwiches for Bucciarati and Trish, worrying you would mess up Trish's sandwich and accidentally harm her. <laughs> you are about to draw from the cup. Shuffle first. You draw a stick from the cup. You sh didn't get the king roll you were hoping for. <laughs> I am king. Oh no, miss this king. Alright, what is your command, your highness? I have an idea. A very humiliating punishment for the poor stuff that would end up wearing the bunny costume. You don't mean... That's right. The ones that feature in the Playboy magazine. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna ask how you obtained that, but go for it, man. I ordered the number five to wear the bunny costume. 
I got number five. <laughs> I am your boss. And I got number five. You're going to fucking hell. You suck, mister. <laughs> We're trying. You can refuse, refuse. You don't need to follow my order. I changed my mind. No, there's no back out. There's orders are orders. This is the game's rules. <laughs> Dry returned wearing the bunny costume Mr. Unintentionally ordered him to wear. <laughs> I'm gonna look away. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Seems like you didn't account for the fact, I don't know, the majority of the people in this room are men. <laughs> That's enough bottles for one night. <laughs> Seems like it's the last round of the King game before concluding the party for tonight. Alright, who's gonna be this turn's king? Giorno. Uh, seems like Giorno is his turn's king. <laughs> okay, as king, I shall be more extra than the previous ones. Bertrati, would you mind? Giorno sat on the couch confidently. Number two and number three, I welcome you with open arms to come sit down here with me. What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding <laughs> with the actual. <laughs> now, now, orders are orders. Number three here. I wouldn't mind being embraced by Giorno. Trish, don't worry. Orders are orders after all. What a man whore. If he also gets his train, I'll be pissed. All right, number two. I have one more for you here. Number two, do what Giorno asked you to do and sit there with him. I confuse if I wanted to, Bucciarati. Wait, Abacchio! <laughs> You're the king of Abacchio. Don't be a party pooper. <laughs> <laughs> so oh god. It's perfect. Everyone agreed to stop the king game before Abakio caused his party to end bleakly. <laughs> Seems like everyone had a good time, especially Trish. Certainly not Abakio right about now. I would really like to thank you all for this wonderful night. It's one of the most thoughtful things anyone's done for me. Seems like everyone becomes closer to each other. Not to mention you feel that your bond with Bucciarati becoming stronger. Especially since he wore a body girl outfit. How the hell did he fit in it? Well, this is the end of the demo. Hope you enjoy playing the shit post of fan game. And the nearest thing we had for JoJo's Bizarre game by Atlas. Until the next update. That's it? No! I wasn't finished! I thought there was more! All I could do is dance this theme now. This is a great game, guys. You gotta check it out. You gotta play it. You gotta play it on Game Joke. It's a good game. You should check this guy out. <laughs> Come on. Is that it for the credits? Yeah, that's it. Did I get special anything? Nope, I just get before the party. Okay. Well, guys, <laughs> well, that's it. That's it for now. So, if Nugget Nagi Dev decides to make an update for this game before uh, this video comes out, you guys are probably going to see another one of these videos later on but for now since there is no update at the time of uh, me recording this thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you liked it and hopefully sometime soon you guys check out the damn merch store and buy some merch <laughs> also just check out the description for uh, for a link to this game and I will see you guys in the next video, bye bye. <laughs> this game is great. I love it. Nugget Nuggy Dev.
You are an amazing man. Or woman. Or whatever you are. Bye for now.